This is the inaugural meeting of the Job Creation and Communication Forum under the Presidency, a platform for engagement between the government and the private sector on job creation. This meeting is aimed at centralizing interventions to promote small businesses as well as match available vacancies in industries across the country. The Senior Special Assistant to the President on Job Creation and MSMEs is facilitating this meeting and explains what the government plans to do to create more jobs. We are on track to realistically deliver 100,000 measurable jobs by May 29th. So we are not talking of um, jobs that um, no one can measure. I use those words very carefully, 100,000 realistic, sustainable jobs by May 29th in, the, in this space. And this cuts across a lot of states, cuts across almost 20 states. According to a study by the National Bureau of Statistics, there are 41.5 million MSMEs in Nigeria, employing almost 60 million people. These businesses constitute around 46.31% of the GDP and about 96% of the total businesses in Nigeria. The government hopes to leverage on this for economic prosperity. For the government of Nigeria to truly tame the challenges that we're facing, which is a global challenge, we must prioritize support to small businesses. Because our goal, of course, is to create jobs so that we can reduce the number of people who are unemployed or underemployed in our country. And we know that the only set of businesses that can do that for us are small businesses. There is so much room to grow in agriculture uh, in Nigeria that uh, if we get it right, uh, our yields on some of uh, uh, even our most common crops are, you know, well below even the regional average, despite all we do. And technology is the fastest way to uh, actually uh, uh, get some uh, precision into agriculture uh, so that we can increase the output and also encourage uh, the younger generation to participate. The government says it is hoping to engage financial institutions to improve support for small businesses, including the smallholder farmers. This is expected to cushion the effect of the rising food inflation in the country.